as dawn breaks we gather to celebrate the small and quiet beginnings of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Your steadfast love extends to the heavens and your faithfulness never ceases. Illuminate our hearts with your wisdom and strengthen our lives with your word. For you are the fountain of life. In your light we see true light. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. A reading from Exodus, chapter 14. As Pharaoh drew near, the Israelites looked back, and there were the Egyptians advancing on them. In great fear, the Israelites cried out to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us, bringing us out of Egypt? This, is this not the very thing we told you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians. For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you and you have only to stand still. Then the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward. But you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the Israelites may go into the sea on dry ground. Then I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, so that they will go in after them, and so I will gain glory for myself over Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and his chariot drivers. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord, when I have gained glory for myself over Pharaoh, his chariots and his chariot drivers. The angel of God, who was going before the Israelite army, moved and went behind them, and the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. And it came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel, and so the cloud was there with the darkness, and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land, and the waters were divided. The Israelites went into the sea on dry ground, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots, and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord, in the pillar of fire and cloud, looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. He clogged their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, Let us flee from the Israelites, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord turned the Egyptians into the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers, the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not one of them remained. But the Israelites walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptian dead on the seashore. Israel saw the great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians, so the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. 
Then Moses and his Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will, I will sing, sing to the Lord, Lord who, who has, has triumphed, triumphed gloriously. gloriously. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemies. At the blast of your nost nostrils, the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. I will, I will sing, sing to, to the Lord. Lord who has, has triumphed, triumphed gloriously. Eternal God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, set us aflame with the fire of your love and bring us to the radiance of your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him and all ages. To him be glory and power through every age and for ever. Amen. Amen. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels. O universe, dance around God's throne, Jesus Christ our King is risen. Sound the victorious trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth in glory, Revealing the splendor of your creation, radiant in the brightness of your triumphant King, Christ has conquered, now his life and glory fill you. Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, Exult in glory, the risen Saviour, our Lord of life, shines upon you. Let all God's people sing and shout for joy. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in this our Easter joy, Accept our sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Grant 
that this Easter candle may make our darkness bright. For Christ the morning star has risen in glory. Christ is risen from the dead, and his flame of love still burns within us. Christ sheds his peaceful light on all the world. Christ lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day when our Lord Jesus Christ was raised gloriously from the dead, crushing the power of sin and destroying the sting of death. Throughout the world, Christians celebrate the mighty power of God as Christ calls us out of darkness to share in his marvellous light. May we and all Christ's people shine as lights in the world to the glory of God the Father. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Early on in the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. And so she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They've taken the Lord out of the tomb. We don't know where they've laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went towards the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he didn't go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and he believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture, that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their home. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They've taken away my Lord. I don't know where they've laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she didn't know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've laid him, and I'll take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. And she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, don't hold on to me, Mary, because I've not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father. To my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went and she announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. 
Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. You have risen, O Christ. Let all creation greet the good news with jubilant shout. For its redemption has come. The long night is past. The Saviour lives and rides and reigns in triumph. Now and to the ages of ages. Alleluia. Alleluia. In Christ we are reconciled to God. Alleluia. Death and life engage one another in a wondrous struggle. Alleluia. We have seen the glory of the risen Christ. Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead. All you that sleep, awake, rise from the dead, for Christ has set us free. Alleluia. 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 Amen. Amen. Amen.